Hey guys, it's your buddy Redefine Fly here, and I'm going to be showing you how to delete um, music that you download from Music Pro, and you don't want it in there, or for whatever reason, I downloaded it, and then I found out that I already had the song on accident, and yes, that is Taylor Swift. Um, I downloaded it on accident, and this is how you delete it. Alright, here I'm going to show you what I downloaded on accident. Let's go to Corns. I downloaded this. And and it was even spelled wrong. It worked and everything, but it was spelled wrong and crap. And I remember that I had a corn here somewhere. I'm sure it was. There's coming out done. Right there. And yeah, so I want to delete that. All right, to delete it, you're gonna have to do it off the computer. That's why I'm showing my full screen this time instead of showing the iPod screen because Music still hasn't found out how to do all that stuff. And this will just help you overall. So let me go to iTunes. You have to do this through iTunes. And even if you don't like using iTunes or stuff, it's still good. Because if you sync it, if you sync your iPod to iTunes, it'll help you a lot. Um, because for some reason the songs aren't deleted when you sync it to iTunes. So first you gotta wait for the iPod to sync. I just wanted to open iTunes, man. <laughs> I don't know why it's not open iTunes. Oh, okay, sync to iPhone. It's doing it now. Alright, it's syncing. But you're gonna to delete it, it you're gonna have to like allow it to do something. So let me show you that fast. You're gonna wanna go right here. You're gonna wanna scroll down and you're gonna want it to allow manually manage music and videos. What this allows you to do is, I'm not sure if it allows you to drag in stuff from other people's computers, but it'll allow me to drag music from my computer. But it doesn't want you to drag music in, which is pretty stupid. Alright, you're gonna need to find corn now, the corn song that, or well, my corn song that I didn't want, but this is the corn song that didn't work out. See, as you see right here. Also, um, like if you do want that song and stuff, you can drag in artwork and stuff, fix the name, and um, you can also go to like get more info or get info, and you can um, go to the options and adjust the volume really high. So, like your um, allowed volume goes extremely higher than what it allows you on the iPod because it sounds way better and you waste less battery that way. And then vocal booster or whatever you use, I use vocal booster. But this is how you use it. All you do is go and do it. Asks you if you want to remove this song from your iPhone. Remove. And. It'll, it'll look like it's lagging. I don't know why it does that, but it will delete your, the song eventually. Like, soon. So wait. Any second now. Alright, see? And um, the corn song is gone. So, that's just an easier way, I think, of deleting the songs from music that you don't want because for some reason it doesn't allow you to uh, from the thing yet. So, once that comes out, we'll all be good. We might have to use iTunes again, hopefully. But this is a good way. And. Yeah, so um, this is Redefine Fly. I hope this helped out. Please subscribe, rate, comment, and I'm out.